Space, Part 4, Interstellar and Intergalactic Space. A comet is a big hunk of ice and dust going around the sun with a pretty long tail. Comets stay in the sky for a few weeks, then fly away. The sun gives off a kind of wind called the solar wind. It goes around the Earth. Here's the Earth. Far away, way beyond even Neptune, the solar wind stops. That is called the heliopause. Here's the heliopause. Past the heliopause is the Oort cloud, which is where comets come from. That's what scientists say. This is a notion of what the Oort cloud is like. The sun is a star. It is not a very big star, and it is not very small either. The closest star to the sun is called Alpha Centauri. But actually, Alpha Centauri is three stars. Two are as big as the sun, and one is small. So this is Alpha Centauri A, Alpha Centauri B, and Proxima Centauri. Stars come in many different sizes. The sun is small compared to Sirius and Arcturus. So here's Sirius, and this big one is Arcturus. This over here is the sun. And our sun is very tiny compared to the biggest stars, like Betelgeuse and Antares. Here's the sun, which is so tiny you can basically not see it. And here's Betelgeuse and Antares, which are supergiants. Stars also come in different colors. Red equals cool. Yellow equals medium. Blue equals hot. Sometimes stars come in pairs or trios. They are binary stars. There's a notion of what a binary star might look like up close. When stars get very old, they get smaller. A brown dwarf is a very small, cool star. This is what a brown dwarf might look like from a planet orbiting it. A white dwarf is another kind of very small, cool star. When some stars get old, they blow up. They become supernovas. Here it goes. Boom. A supernova leaves behind a nebula, like the Crab Nebula. Sometimes a tiny, tiny neutron star is left after a supernova. The star in the middle of this nebula is a neutron star. And sometimes a neutron star starts going around and around very fast. It becomes a pulsar. See it? There it is. There it is again. And again. Here is a pulsar in the middle of the Crab Nebula.
Sometimes after a star has died, its gravity is so strong that nothing can get out, not even light. It is called a black hole. That's just a notion of what it might look like up close. There are other kinds of nebulae, like the Horsehead Nebula. That's a famous one. Nebulae can be very pretty, like the Pillars of Creation in the Eagle Nebula. There they are, the Pillars of Creation. Stars can form groups called clusters. The clusters can be small and open, like the Pleiades. There are the Pleiades. Or giant and globular, like the cluster M92. A group of stars that makes a big shape we recognize in the sky is called a constellation, like the Big Dipper. This down here is the Big Dipper, and this up here is the Little Dipper. Most of the stars we can see are very nearby in space in our local arm, which is just one part of the giant Milky Way galaxy. Astronomers think the Milky Way might look like this. Of course, we've never taken a picture of it from above like that, because no one can travel that far. The closest big galaxy to us is the Andromeda Galaxy. That is a picture of the Andromeda Galaxy. Our galaxy is only just one in our local group of galaxies. And galaxies come in clusters and superclusters. All the galaxies and everything else is called the universe. You cannot imagine how enormous the universe is. It is very, 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 very big. The end.